Hello people, welcome back to Trust Me Bro, I'm an engineer. So today, chainsaw. Checked everything, you know. Ignition, carburetor works perfectly. <sighs> Give it a nice blow, you know. Don't want any, any dust getting in there. Uh, this is the air filter for the carburetor, you know. It goes right there. Um, yep, so ignition works like never before. But... The fuel ducts, you know, this is not original. I had to actually replace only this one here is original. That's so rest done is to stop. So yeah, carburetor works perfectly fine. Not any noise, you know, not any squeaking on it. So I had to actually dismantle what connects the trigger, as I call it to the carburetor you know it went right here in these holes and that allowed to accelerate the chainsaw anyway I'm gonna keep you updated on how I fixing this all so uh, see you in a little in a little while also also for those of you who did not know this is your alternator so basically this thing right here you pull it and it will spin this thing super fast but like really fast and it these are magnets look these are magnets hear it magnets that go rub this and by induction give you power for the ignition this then carburetor <sighs> really don't want anything getting in there that's why it has an air filter in the first place so this can be tuned actually for um, more air intake, more fuel intake, you know. You just have to turn this. This screw is for air intake, you know. Because when this goes like this, it normally opens up even more the carburetor. Normally, it's a little closed. Let me. Yep. So normally, it's like this. This is to close the carburetor's air intake so nothing gets in there but as soon as you pull this bam carburetor opens up what that means is that now when you pull on the trigger this thing goes back pulls this thing like this and you get intake air intake Though now it doesn't work because I removed a few components for inspect. Okay, now that the presentation is uh, complete, I'm gonna buy some new ducts because this one won't fit really well. And then we're gonna go back to it and I'll show you the full, hopefully the full, reassembly process of the fuel tank to the engine. Let's go. What's up gang? quick little update about the chainsaw so there's a cable that connects the carburetor as air intake you know to the trigger on the chainsaw so that thing when I want to test it out I pulled the trigger and the cable had a little uh, bit of chipping in it you know it was a little chip it could not handle it anymore it just bang it snapped so now I can't order parts because I'm leaving uh, Romania in a few days, like tomorrow, not even in a few days. And also I spent money on the ducts for the fuel. You know, I, I put everything and for the final test, before actually putting everything back on, starting the chainsaw, it broke. Yeah. The sad truth of taking multiple chainsaws from your grandma to try and fix one of them so I guess she gonna cut with the next now the wood cuz I <laughs> I am NOT a welder so yeah well uh, it's gonna conclude the video so you know leave a like and subscribe and uh, if I get the chains I'll fix one one day I'll fix one for real and I'm gonna show you the sound of the engine trust me alright anyway it's time to go like and subscribe and goodbye